Hi guys, so the PGCT exam is on the way and this Sunday is your exam. So uh, most of you people are a bit tensed and uh, going into sleepless nights. So I just wanted to give a quick tips and tricks and just some motivating speech so that you people are motivated to write the exam. Okay, let's start. So now as you know the exam is scheduled on 24th of September on a Sunday. So it's good news, right? And if you go for the schedule, the MCA people, they have the exams at 10.30 to 12.30 and followed by the MBA people from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. So there is a lot of time available. Firstly, the syllabus coming to this, a lot of confusions are there even now. And some people are not even knowing what to prepare in the last minute. So I would suggest certain topics which you can focus in order to do your last minute preparation. Okay, And I will also give you certain tips and tricks in which order you need to start answering the questions. It might be helpful to you in order to answer most of the questions. Fine. Firstly, important points, no doubt. For the MBA students, these are some of the important topics which you can focus as the last minute preparation. Coding, decoding, it has been a very useful topic for most of the students. Easy one if you know about the alphabets and the numbers, easy to crack. Similar way for number series, number system, speed math. You need to be very quick with your multiplication, division, addition, squares, cubes, and n number of things, right? Speed math is very important for your quants, and I hope that you people have been practicing that over and time again. Now the next important topic according to me would be ratios and proportions because most of the topic in quants involves ratios and proportions. If you are very familiar and comfortable with ratios and proportions, it is a piece of cake for you. Now next important topic for you from the logical reasoning would be the blood relations where a certain people get a bit confused. I would suggest if you come across any blood relation question and you are having a very short amount of time, do not get confused, skip the question. Else when you are in a fresh mind, attempt the question, it will be the easiest to score. It will be the easiest to score. Then the data interpretation question, any of the graphs can be given a pie chart or the table chart. So answering that would be a cakewalk. Right? And coming to the English section, antonyms, synonyms, always a headache for most of the people. Just reading newspapers all these days would have helped you out. In case not, just start it and remember certain important things from the last three or four years of question papers. Fine. Next will be your para jumbles, sentence corrections, reading comprehension. Might come, might not come. Let us keep it as backup. General awareness and quantity current affairs will be a very important one. So last six months of general awareness and current affairs is very necessary. And even static GK, which doesn't change with time, is also asked most of the times. This time we can expect many questions from the Chandrayaan 3, since the lander, the rover, everything. So be prepared for those kind of questions. Fine. Now coming to the MCA students, they have the syllabus almost the same to the MBA, but a higher number of questions will be asked from the mathematics part and from the computers part. Mathematics, the important topics would be your quadratic, determinants, matrices, logarithms, trigonometry, inverse, coordinate geometry, yes, APGP, HP, they are asking it, but very rarely, and probability permutation combinations, easy ones to score marks. Okay, all together it might come around 34 to 40 marks. So be prepared for that. Computers, very basic questions, man. Come on. Since you people have opted for MCA, I hope that you remember certain basics about computers. Okay. And apart from that, they will ask something like a binary decimal conversions and then your data representations, then your ones complement, twos complement, these kind of questions. GK and English combinedly, it might be having a weightage of around 20 marks. So to focus, it would boost up your scores somewhere or the other. Okay, And very important preparations for the MCA people is your mathematics. Stick on to that, keep on practicing it repeatedly. It will boost up your score like anything. Okay, Trust my words. 
Now, coming to like, what should I follow? How should I start solving? And what is the uh, methodology that I need to follow in the exam? It depends from per person to person. As per me, I would suggest the easiest one for you would be the first topic to attend. For example, if you are more comfortable in logical, attend logical first. If you are more comfortable in quants, attend quants first. If you are more comfortable in mathematics, attend mathematics first. When I tell the word comfortable, it means in a short span, if you can attend it and complete it, that is the trick. Shortest span for the section will be the easiest one to score, right? The next one would be, I would suggest your GK. GK also to be the first one because GK doesn't require any amount of thinking. So it is just like if you know the answer you can mark it else you cannot mark it since there is no negative marking you can take a luck of chance and if it works out it might go well right next uh, after that would be the second easiest section for you first if you are chosen logical then the next would be gk the next would be what english and the last would be your uh, quants in case of an mba student in case of a mca student Always it is recommended to start with mathematics since it has a higher weightage then your computer science and then you comes your English and GK and the last you can return with your logical else the logical and the English part can be swapped if you are strong in logical go with the logical and then the next part fine this would be the thing and also you can just go through the last three years of question papers just to have a look and feel of it how the question pattern has been and what kind of questions might be asked okay just to be on the safer side right now make it easy it's not a tough exam to crack it's a very easy exam to crack keep it easy make it easy just stick on to your basics basics is going to help you a lot trust my words then stay calm stay calm uh, relaxed don't stress don't stress out sleep well have a good sleep don't stress out with these examinations okay just an entrance exam fine and have a schedule or have a checklist for what you need to carry what you need not carry for the exams since the bell details has been given on the KEA website go back and check it out what you need to carry for each and every exams according to that start following it if you haven't checked it out I'll drop the link of that in the description you can check it out and you can start using it fine so these are some quick tips and tricks okay i would suggest stay stress free okay relax have a good sleep go for the exam with a fresh mind all the best best wishes and hope to see you after the exam for any other queries anything else okay so in case if you find still any difficulties or anything i have just given my number you can just contact me or you can just drop us a mail or a message or whatever it is and we will reach out to you and we can help you out so stay calm stay peaceful all the best for your exams take care bye